And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Tyrannoceratops, which was a request from Thieving Raptor Lorenzo via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks! Tyrannoceratops was a ceratopsian that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Uzbekistan. It was found in the Bisekti Formation. It was small, with a short frill and two long horns on its brow, a beak, a longish tail, and it walked on all fours. It didn't have a nasal horn. Like I said, it was relatively small, so it was estimated to be about six and a half feet or two meters long and weigh 385 pounds or 175 kilograms. That is certifiably tiny for... (laughs) For a ceratopsian? Yeah. Especially in the late Cretaceous. (laughs) It probably ate ferns and conifers, and it would have used its beak to bite off leaves and needles. Now, it was a ceratopsian, but it was not a ceratopsid. That's the group that includes the subfamilies, the chasmosaurines and the centrosaurines, and it includes dinosaurs like triceratops. But rather, it was more transitional between earlier ceratopsians and ceratopsids. Oh, okay. That could help explain a smaller size, because most of the big ones are ceratopsids. Mm Mm-hmm. Compared to larger ceratopsids, Tyrannosauratops only had two or three teeth in each vertical dental file instead of four or five, but it did have double-rooted teeth, and it did have also long brow horns. Tyrannoceratops, though, was found to be more advanced than Zuniceratops, which is the earliest known horned dinosaur in North America. It did look similar to Zuniceratops. As you mentioned that, I just realized that Zuniceratops is a lot smaller than I'd always thought it was. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Because I've never actually seen it in person, I don't think. Well, no one has. (laughs) Oh, I mean, the skeleton. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, if you just look at paleo art, it's hard to tell how big the animal was. Yeah, you can get totally lost in the sense of scale. Tyrannoceratops, there were fragmentary fossils found starting in the 1920s, and scientists thought that there was some sort of ceratopsid in the area. Then Lev Nesov published the name Tyrannoceratops tardibilis in 1988, but didn't describe the dinosaur, so it was a gnomum nudum for a while. Then it was officially named in 1989 by Nesov and others. So the type species is Tyrannoceratops Tardibilis. The genus name means Turan horned face, and Turan is an old Persian name for Turkestan. The species name means slowing, and it refers to the research taking a long time to name the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the holotype is a damaged left upper jawbone. It was broken into two tightly fitting pieces. Other fossils found include the brow horn cores, parts of the limbs and feet teeth, part of the lower jaw, and part of the skull. And there were other fossils referred to Tyrannoceratops, but it turned out to belong to other dinosaurs. One was a brain case, but that ended up being part of a sauropod's brain case. (laughs) There aren't skulls that are much more different than a ceratopsian and a sauropod. Yeah, (laughs) but if you only have fragments, sometimes it's hard to tell. Yeah, the brain case is basically just like this flat little top piece of the skull, so I could see that. Yeah. Another was what was thought to be part of the frill, but that turned out to be armor from an ankylosaur. Hmm. Some paleontologists considered Tyrannoceratops to be a gnomum dubium, but Hans Suze in 2009 said that it was valid. And we're sticking with it. <laughs> Other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place included the ankylosaur bisectopelta, theropods such as Canonasia, the alvarosaur Jdarzonyx, the dromaeosaur Idomirus, the Tyrannosauroid Timurlengia, as well as sauropods and, and antiornithines. And other animals that lived around the same time and place included turtles, mollusks, fish, plesiosaurs, mammals, pterosaurs, lizards, crocodilomorphs, and amphibians. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.